Is there anyone in there? Fuzzy. Not so fuzzy. Fuzzy. Not so fuzzy! Ignore me. Welcome back to Wade's Little Shed Shop. Today, uh, I need to be making a wedding gift for a friend of ours. Um, it's her and her husband's wedding, which would be a bit weird if it wasn't. Yep. It could be her and her, I suppose, or him and him. Uh, but I'd already said it was a her. So, it's her and her husband's wedding uh, in, in a week or two's time from the date that I'm actually doing this, which will be after would have happened by the time this has actually gone out. Yay! Now, me and Mrs. Setchop were discussing, do I make something very ornate? I like ornate. It can be pretty. But, so why don't you make something simple, something nice, something simple, something... Make a candle holder. So, okay, I'll make a candle holder. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll make a candle holder and then Mrs. Shedshot can do some pyrography in on it. I'm pretty good with the old pyrography pen, it's just... But I don't like it. Anyway, it needs to be big enough to fit the old tea light candle, which is 38 mil roughly. And I thought, oh, I'm gonna stick it on a bit of ash. Nope, my ash isn't bloody thick enough. Damn it. And I can't use the oak, the oak's definitely not thick enough. But I suppose if I did do the oak, then I could stack the oak, but I'm not gonna do it on oak. And I thought, right, well, I'll tell you what I have got. I've got these big old posts. And they are three by three, but they're not three by three. They're two and a half by two and a half. So, also got a channel down here. And I thought, well, what if I shave off a quarter of an inch from each side on the table saw and see what it looks like? So that's what I'm about to do. And then we will proceed from there. Of course, I need to chop the ends off too, which I do with the uh, uh, saw. Let's go. Let's see if we can make it. So we're going to go 18 and a half. That allows for two sets. Oh no, it's not too bad. It'll stand up quite nicely. Uh, next up is a side, this side and then we take it down to its full size. So now I've got two sides there, I can now work on the thickness. Okay. Alright, now let's get this down to size. That should be 50 mil now, God, I hope it is, otherwise I've fluffed it up. 50 mil is just under two inch, but it doesn't matter, it will be square. As long as it's square, mm -hmm. then it don't matter, right? Yeah. Okay, so that is now milled. Milled is essentially milled, yeah. That's now been taken down to two by two. Brilliant, because that's what we want. So that can go quite nicely in the centre there. Like so, just to have just enough on the outside of it to, you know, uh, have enough to encase it. You know what I mean. Exactly. Well, that table saw is a right kerfaffle bloody thing. I managed to get two sides square, three sides square, and one side which is a pain in the ass. I think the blade had just moved out of thing. I don't know how it was locked in, but yeah. No. Now, I'm going to cut this down, so I'm going to cut a five and a four. The fact is, I actually made this long enough to be able to cut two lots out of it. So I'm going to cut two fives and a four? No, two fives, two fours. Yes, what's that? Just in case? I think it is a just in case sort of thing. <laughs> so, back to the miter saw. Bing! Fine. Four. There you go, two five inch, two four inch. I suppose just in case I, just in case I mess a set up. Not like that though. Let's get cleaning. <laughs> yeah! Clamped them together to keep them nice and, you know, in the same plane, so they remain the same. 
that way if you get any lumps and bumps it takes them out and same on the bottom looking lovely I'd really like to burn this but not really something for a wedding is it burning but unless of course that is what someone's into right now got to mark the center on the top of each drill a hole and then I think before that so I know which direction they're in and what side is what so I don't mess it up I will draw the heart on it's good look quite cool drill press I'm gonna sink it to the depth of this force in a bit because a little bit deeper than this tea light and you can get taller tea lights. Oh, it went slightly off. Pretty good on the others, but it went slightly off there. But that's fine. That's fine. Ah, oh, sort of to the eye. All right, next up, the smaller one. Super. Mrs. S getting ready to do some pyrography in. Drawing away, because she's the artistic one. Aren't you, my dear? Yeah. Evil little d hot. Good luck. Little heart that I've uh, drawn on these. Miss Sess has got the other one so she knows how much room she's got to play with. The only way I can think of cutting this out is either by hand with a coping saw or band saw or as I have one, the scroll saw. This is the maximum thickness that you can cut on a regular scroll saw. I think the thickness, thickness you can cut on any scroll saw, I think the maximum is about two and a half, maybe three inches. Mine is 55 mil thick that I can cut. This is 51 mil thick. It's pretty much as thick as I can go, otherwise I'll be hitting my fingers or something. I'm gonna use a Pegasus modified geometry number three because it has a lot of skips in its teeth and hopefully that will clear the uh, sawdust away easier and I mean these are great blades so I've set up a brand new one fingers crossed it's gonna work all right let's try that is extremely thick okay it starts slow Oh shit, <laughs> that was a beautiful cut. Now I've got to put the two pieces together and clamp so I can get my start point crisp. That doesn't even need a sand is how nice that cut was. There's still three mil thickness. Idiot, unbelievable. Won't happen on this one, will it? No, because that heart is a lot sodding further down than what it was on that. <laughs> ah, shit, fingers. Now it's gonna get a sand, and Mrs. S is then gonna pyrography down here, and that'll be finished. Uh, well, no, and then I'll shoot it up with some, uh, with some, uh, what am I gonna shoot it up with? Lacquer. Yes, I'm on the floor. <laughs> I know, daft, yes. But I am here on the floor because the inserts that we cut out from the uh, candles, holders, I thought, ooh, secondary gift, huh? Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. I thought, why not? Well, actually, that's a lie. Mrs. Shed Shop said uh, about making them key rings, um, Kaz and Rob, and I thought, oh, okay, that's not a bad idea, actually. Make them some nice key rings. So, getting late and we've decided that we're actually going to go to the range tomorrow to go and get some letters because it will look nicer if we can find the right letters or we are going to have to it's a one-shot deal pyrography getting it right getting it looking nice I don't have a laser um, doodah uh, I don't have a laser cutter and lots of people just use laser cutters these days and yeah, they look wonderful, but 
I don't have a laser cutter, so it's either pornography, paint, or go get some stickers because they're going to be lacquered over anyway, and that will seal them in. I think it should look quite nice if we can get the right ones so it looks nice. But in the meantime, the old heart, three heart attacks. I could do with a spare one. The old big chunky heart. Mrs. S said, well, what if you make him some key rings? And actually, that's not a bad idea. Boom, two pieces of heart. The heart. So, key ring it is. So I'm gonna go on the bandsaw, which I put on the floor because it's later in the day and I just honestly can't be asked to put it on its legs. It's that simple. So uh, I'm gonna see if I can cut these to, I don't know, maybe 10 mil. Is that too thick for a key ring? I don't, know, I don't want it to break. So yeah, that's what it's gonna be. 10 mil, whack them through, pop a hole in, pop, pop on a key ring if we've got some, if not we're going to be buying them from the range tomorrow. And then, I don't know, I think Mrs. S would be quite happy burning a R and a C in these. It's a lot easier than writing long bits with the pornography pen. Ah, oh, my foot's got to It's a bit shonky, but you don't care when things are free. Send it! Sand these sides came out better than I thought. Mrs. Shed Shop is going to use carbon copy paper to carbon copy onto the wood and then she's going over it with this new pen that I just bought. And this is a stupid vine. You probably can't see it. I mean, I haven't got my glasses on, I can't see it. And it's a 0.03 of a millimeter. And she's going to draw on it with that, right? On it, draw on it, that one. Yes. That looks perfect. Looks straight enough for me. That's the name's done. Yep, now I've got to do the day. Thanks. Yay! <laughs> now I need to get them done. Look at that! Ooh. Doesn't look too bad, do it? I think that went okay. Been a long time since I've done that. Drill a hole, now I think I'll lacquer it. Then whop in a cheap keychain. That's all done. It's all dry now. Fantastic, it's had uh, four coats of lacquer. Oh yeah, 1200 grit in between. And now, there's just one thing left. I saw this from YouTube, but I don't know which one it is. If I, oh, if I remember which one it is, I will put them in uh, the, the the description um, because it's such a cool trick. But it's just taking a bit of baking paper because you know that's what I use, or wax paper, whatever other people want to call it, and uh, you just take it and over something that's been lacquered, just scrunch it up and just keep it a bit of a rub. I'm not 100% sure why it works, it just works. But, kind of smooth stuff out a bit. I mean, I'm guessing it's kind of like a micro abrasive, even though it's not, but you know, where you've screwed it up and you've got all your little lumps and bumps, it's just taking it out, I suppose. But these now feel like glass. Mrs. S done an amazing job with that lettering on these and the numbers. It looks absolutely fantastic, this is for for our good friend Kaz and Rob and uh, we hope you like these. That's them done and of course the, the fact that I was able to get these out of the uh, the waste is absolutely brilliant. Nice little key ring. I, I did think about maybe getting some tiny little magnets and putting in to, to lock them together you know but then I thought ah uh, cars these days most of them have beep beep electronic keys right beep 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 I thought mm, that's probably not a good idea is it even if you've got a tiny two mil magnet it's probably still not a good idea but anyway they have their own little key rings as well and the beautiful uh candles jesus christ what a tool beautiful candles holders candles holders candle holders and what was left was you know, uh, one piece that was used as a practice piece, uh, and and of course this these were the two spares, just in case I balls it up, and I still got over two feet, so I could probably make quite a few others. I wonder if we've got any more friends getting married. 
The brother-in-law's getting married. Soon. I don't know when. There is a gift. Bosh. Yeah, let's see just how nice these will look. On the side in someone's house. Well, we you are know, Robin Cassie's house. <laughs> Forever with their wedding date on them. So they are very cool. Yes, I probably shouldn't be holding it. It's a lit candle, a bit dangerous. If you've been watching my videos, you know, a little bit of an idiot. That was my fault. And that one I did on purpose. They're gonna take a little bit to cure now, and uh, although they're dry, it's, it's a, a car lacquer that I use, so that's gonna take a good uh, three or four days to actually fully cure and not be sticky. Thank you, Mrs. Shedshot, for all of your help on this, because there's not a hope in hell that I would have been able to have written that as nice as that. Congratulations, Rob and Kaz. Thank you for watching these little shed shop. Don't forget if you like the video, give it a like, thumbs up, click the notifications, subscribe. We'll see you again soon. Thank you for watching.